You said you wanted me to comprehend you, and I was just thinking maybe if I learned a little bit about your experience, I would learn for myself. You know, this isn't a secret. You can't use this against me. You wanted to know if I ever thought about my daughter after I gave her away. She was the first thought every morning and the last thought every night. I thought about her all the time because I didn't want to give her up. I was not in charge of my life at that time. I was just a kid myself. I wouldn't have been able to support her in any way. And my father would have disowned me if I didn't do what he wanted. Ordered. I don't suppose there's any way that you could ever know this about me, but I was very sheltered and very controlled. I will tell you that there is no way that I would have survived on my own, much less with a kid. So I, I wrote her, I wrote her letters that I kept in a box. I knew that they would never get sent, but I, I, I wrote them anyway because it somehow kept me connected to her. What did you say? I just uh, wrote about feeling guilty, feeling sad. Sometimes I would just uh, write the mundane details of the day. When did you stop? When I realized that writing the letters was pointless, that what was done was done, and letter writing really wasn't going to change anything. So I moved on. <clears throat> did you ever try and find her? I, um, you're a woman of many resources. <laughs> you're a lawyer, for God's sake. That's exactly why I didn't spend much time looking because I knew the law and I also was very aware of my father's thoroughness. So the chances of finding her were minimal at best. When Christina was sick, I hired someone to look for her. She needed a donor, but there wasn't enough time because she was deteriorating way too fast and mercifully your baby saved her. So you had no reason to look for the daughter you gave up. Rightly or wrongly, I let go. Rick is the one who brought it up. Rick? When he was sick in the hospital, he, but I think, was trying to get some perspective on his life, and he said to me that he thought I was keeping something from him, something defining. He knew. And out of respect for him, I told him the truth. And the floodgates opened all over again, and I haven't been able to stop thinking about her. So I set out to find her. So you're looking for your daughter now? Not anymore. She's dead. I used to be able to tell when people were lying. so good at it anymore. Sally and I should have been honest with you from the start. Jason, for that, I'm sorry. You're not lying now. 
You do believe everything you're telling me. But Sonny is lying to you and himself. He's not. He's promising you a future that he cannot deliver, and he knows it. That's the difference. You believe. He only wants to. He knows it's a matter of time before everything falls apart. You're seeing what you want to justify the way you're acting. Are you? I'm gonna give him up. No. Card! I'm done here. She died at the age of three. She was uh, struck by a car and died at the scene. And now I'm right back where I started, wondering what she looked like if she has my eyes she sounds like me that's our thing what if you were wrong i'm sorry what if your daughter were alive what would you do i would tell her i'm sorry voices in here you're a prince among men is everybody okay we're fine if you could just leave the door open. maybe loss is more of a common ground than you originally thought Baby, take my hand. 